Hello, I'm Jitendra. Welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you an advertisement design using PowerPoint. So let's not delay anymore and start the tutorial. So here you can see my PowerPoint slide is here. And uh, there are a couple more slides there because uh, this is the another version of the same advertisement that we're going to discuss in this video. However, the next video, I will be discussing how you can create an animated uh, advertisement like this. You can share this online or Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere else in a video file format or a GIF image. So this is the next video that we are going to discuss. But let's just discuss this first. So let's just start and I'll press Ctrl N to take a new document and I'll come to design tab and I'll choose the slide size, custom slide size. And now I'm going to change the dimension over here. So right now you can see I have a wide screen selected and width and uh, height is some values but let's just not worry about this and i will just quickly write here for example 1080 px okay px stand for pixels and again 1080 pixel so it's like a so it's like i'm taking a square okay so width and height both are same and now i'm going to press ok and you can choose any of the options i'm going with maximize next I'll come to the slide here and I'll right click change the layout to blank so now we don't have anything on the screen so in order to start this we need to we need couple of resources first so these resources are the font that I'm using which is alpha slab one and this image over here and the logo that is here so let's now jump to the browser and see where you can find this font in case you don't have and where you can find this image so let's come to the browser and here what you need to do is you need to type google font google font or google fonts anything is fine now the first link fonts.google.com you open it and here you have to search call alpha and you will notice that here is the font and now you can click over here download family and then you can see there is a zip file you open it double click over there and you will open and a new window will appear and you can click install now since i already have this it's asking me do you want to re, uh, replace the font i'm right now saying no but you have to click yes okay so i'm just quickly click, click. so okay i'm just going to close this i will next again i'll come to browser so now we are done with the font the next resource that we had we have to use is this image so i'll come to unsplash and i will open the first link and i will type burger okay so it's it's all your wish okay if you are right looking for pizza you can type pizza uh, or burger so you'll, your burger will come and if you are looking for fries i think fries yeah so anything like that the image that you are looking for you can just you click type in here so for now i am just typing burger and these all are open source images which means that you can use these images without any copyright issues so the one image that i am using here is uh, either you can choose this one this also looks very nice the one i am using is this one now you might you might be wondering why i'm choosing this one because if you come to the powerpoint slide you'll notice that i have a background over here as well okay this image is this much so what i did is i i like this black thing okay so that i can continue the background okay that anyway if you're not able to understand at this moment don't worry i'll just make you understand in a while so next is you have to click download free and you'll notice that you have the image downloaded over here now let me just drag into the new powerpoint that we are going to design so i'm just going to place it over here and i will just drag it like this tip to tip okay so i'm just matching with the tips now you can see the background is white color so in order to make this image i want this background and this black part to be of the same color so that's what the reason i took this photo so for that i will right click here on the any anywhere on the white screen format background solid fill and under the color option i'm going to take eyedropper and i'll just take a sample from the just like just above that okay so like this so you'll notice that our uh, we got a seamless kind of background over here there is yeah there is, there is some little bit discrepancy but i i pretty much sure that uh, we we can't see that uh, until uh, unless we look very carefully 
so once we are done now i i will just not waste much time let's just create the logo first okay so i'll just copy it and uh, i'm just going to paste it over here and i'm just going to press control g to group it so that i can tell you how i created this so in order to create this uh, lo uh, logo i first my thought was uh, i thought there is there will be something relevant to a burger company so that's the reason i created this logo over here so let's just create this logo so i came to drawing tab and uh, under that i use this oval tool so right now it's in my recently used tab in case you are not able to find it here you can come to basic shapes and you can take and you can take the second tool over here which is uh, draw an oval like this okay it's bigger also is fine don't worry next i'm going to give a shape fill no fill and now you can see nothing is there now come to shape outline i drop a and i will choose this color okay so i'm just taking this color next again i'll come to shape outline and i'll increase the weight to around 2 in quarter point next again you can see we have a, we have option to take a rectangle i am i'm going to take a rectangle over here and i'll just place it like this now i'll select this and this and merge shape and i'll click subtract so with this we got a, this kind of a shape over here which looks like something like burger like half part of a burger and now again i'll come to shape outline now you can say uh, if you're using microsoft 365 version you will notice that we have option called sketched so i'm going to use this third line or the third or fourth anything that you feel you can take so i'm just going to take this one just to give a little rough look now i'm just going to control drag to make a duplicate of that or instead you can press control d on the keyboard and now so i'll just bring it somewhere here and i will just rotate it you can press shift on the keyboard to rotate it precisely great done so now let's just make the patty inside okay and the patty or in hindi it's called the 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 aloo tikki or anything like that so the patty to create this patty here uh, i'll just take a rectangle and let me just draw a rectangle like this i will click on here and okay now again i'll shape fill no fill shape outline i'll give the same color again i'll come to shape outline i'll give weight to again the same weight to and quarter and again shape outline sketched and i'll give a this or this anything that looks fine so right now you can see there are the sharp corners over here i don't want those sharp corners so what i'm going to do is i'll right click format shape now under the line option here you can see join type is meter okay instead of meter you make it round so you'll notice that okay there is a certain difference but okay let's see uh, this is with meter so you will have a sharp corner okay here but when i give this round or bevel you will notice that there is no sharp corner over here so that is what i want so i'll just bring in here okay let me just reduce the size and uh, something like this looks great next i'm going to take again this oval shape and i'll just place it some random some uh, shapes like this of different size just to show the that the the seeds that we have over the burger right this seeds that we have so like this okay I'll reduce the size even further and like this let's say okay not much and i will just press control and drag to add those seeds here as well on the bottom part oops okay and one big i will take okay now i'll just select all of these and you can come to shape fill and give the same fill color and shape outline i don't want any shape outline okay so with this our logo a kind of logo is ready now i'm going to take a text box okay uh something like this let me just quickly keep it here so that you can see it i will type daily right now you can't see because the font color is black i'm just going to change the font color to the same yellow color so daily and i'll press enter burger okay daily burger or daily burgers that's fine i'll just make it upper case and i will change the font to alpha the one we have downloaded 
and I will just center align the text here and I will place it over here. So right now compared to the logo, uh, the text is very small. So I will just increase the size and increase the text box as well. So let me just select it like this and I will just press Ctrl G to group it. Looks good. Now I also want to write some text here since 2001 just to give some authenticity and uh, the company is very old some that kind of feeling and now i'll just increase the spacing to lose uh, let me just quick reduce the size even bit yeah. so this is the way using the same procedure i used uh, i created uh, the same logo that i showed you i use here so now our logo is ready i'll just going to delete this i am personally thinking the logo is too high so what you can do is I will just ungroup this and I will only select the burger press ctrl G to group the burger and I will just press it like this okay so that it little bit looks like a burger yeah now comparatively fine okay little bit I will increase yeah so once again I will select the two and I'll group it and let's just place it over here and you can reduce the size if you want something like this Okay, you will see that uh, text is a little misbalanced, so you can just reduce the size a bit. So like this you can keep. Okay, next what is there? So now next if we are going to create this text. So I am just saving the time over here. Please, uh, okay just to save the time, I will just copy the text over here. And I will pr press Ctrl V to paste it. And uh, make sure that come to format, align. And make sure that the text is align to center now I'll just increase the size come to home tab increase the size to somewhere around 32 or uh, 36 looks fine again I will control and drag and I will increase this to somewhere around 48 or 60 and I'll type burger okay burger or burgers anything is fine that it's all up to you now compared to burgers I'll just increase the size a little bit one more times and I will reduce this font okay next what I'm going to do is I have added few uh, this lines and all okay just to give some authenticity uh, further uh, just to fill in the gap over here actually actually saying okay so you can increase the size for both a bit I'm thinking still there is in space yeah this looks fine so next I'll just zoom in there I'm going to take a line tool okay in the under the drawing and I'll just draw a line like this okay I'm pressing shift on my keyboard so I'm just approximately putting until it matches the s uh, this the the last tip of this okay shape outline fill the same color and shape outline weight I'm going to give a heavy weight okay around six point now I'll press control and drag it like this okay so now you can see you you got a little bit feeling right so that's what important in an advertisement design people should able to feel that so even now it's good but what i thought is just to add a couple of uh, like dots over here so just to grab the attention so i'll give a shape fill of yellow color and shape outline no outline and i'll just again drag it to the other side as well so you can see the powerpoint is guiding me so right now i'm at the same distance so like this we are done with the text here next what is there uh, okay we have to make some call out so that to attract people uh, that you can uh, order on this number so it's very easy to do that under the drawing tab we have under the basic shapes we have something called parallelogram now just draw a parallelogram like this okay and now i'm going to home shape uh, now come to format shape fill I'm going to give a white color shape outline no outline again I'll make a copy of this so I'm just using control and drag and I'll give the same color of yellow and I just want it to be a little bigger both the ways okay something like this now I'll select the text and I'll control drag so that it will be easier right every time I need not to change a font from here so I'll just uh, change the color to black and reduce its size and I'll move it somewhere here 
and i'll just type in text call now or let's say order order now and uh, let me just reduce the box size over here and then i will again control drag and i can give the number so 9797979797 okay so some fake numbers and i'll just drag it like this and increase make sure that it should not go out this okay so make sure that it should not go uh, out from this boundary particular boundary because this is the area which is not going to be saved so make sure that your text is maximum till this point i will extend it here don't worry we can extract it like this yeah looks good order now we'll bring it to somewhere close to like this and uh, let me just drag it little bit to this side and now you can see so now let me just show you the full screen preview and here is the ad that we have just created using powerpoint now if you want to write some offer for your customer you are always welcome to do that you can just drag it like this and uh, you can make it let's say 50% off and you can just reduce the font size like this and you can keep it somewhere here because when the people are going to call you you are showing them 50% off offer is there or you can do this as well so you can just say 50% off you just press enter on all orders or any any text okay on all orders and i'll just reduce the font size a bit okay here we go so you can see how well the advertisement looks like now the next question comes how to save this so let's just do a quick save how to do that so in case you want to take this for print i will suggest you to save this as a pdf file so the procedure is like this come to file save as and uh, i'm right now choosing this burger add in powerpoint so okay and i'll choose pdf and right now make sure that you are choosing standard okay standard is for publishing online and printing and you click save and right now okay i'm going to open with acrobat reader and you will notice that how much you zoom the text is a vector file okay the text is a vector okay you can see how much you zoom the quality remains the same even for the image also you can see till the 300% the image quality is almost the same and we have a burger our logo also is complete vector okay so in case you are going for printing this uh, i will suggest you to go i will suggest you to go with pdf so let's just come back to the powerpoint if you want to distribute this in social media using whatsapp or instagram or facebook anything like that you can come to file save as burger add in powerpoint or any folder that you want and then you can choose a png file okay i also suggest you to go with a png file it it is it has better uh, resolutions and all compared to the other jpg format and i'll just click save anyway right now i have only one slide so either either of the option i can choose so i go with all slides so now let me just come to the folder and you will notice that the image is saved there and uh, you can see the powerpoint has created a folder with the file name presentation 2 and presentation 2 and i will double click over here and you will notice that we have a slide one over here the image resolution is as the same uh, which is 1080p by 1080p and when i double click it you will see our advertisement is ready to go online so that's all guys for this video uh, make sure please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and in the next video i'm going to show you how you can create this kind of animated advertisement design using powerpoint so for that time stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to get the notification as soon as i upload the video thank you very much